Ahoy there, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're all doing well today. I know I am, because I'm sitting down for another short, sweet, spooky experience. This here is Silent Mementos, a game available on itch.io for free by Alex Alinkiewicz, although I would advise that you leave the man a tip, because Alex is actually a viewer of the channel, and I've talked with him in many livestream chats and comments and such, as he is an indie horror game developer who's made multiple titles by now, some of them you may have heard of, and he's been asking me for a while to play a game, and not just that he's been asking me, I've been wanting to play one of his games for a while too. So he advised me that this would be a good game of his to start on. I believe, yeah, it says right up here, made for Game Jam 2021. And he says that this is less of a survival horror game, which he has made in the past, and more of a story-oriented spooky game. So I'm down for either or, and he gave me one piece of advice going into this game, and that is as soon as you load in, turn 180 degrees. So I will heed your advice, Alex. Let's go ahead and jump in. Oop, words. Uh, October 9th, 1983. My name is Lucy. I have a boyfriend named Nigel who likes to make video recordings of old abandoned houses for contractors. Recently, he was hired to inspect a house that's been abandoned for a few years now. Normally, I wouldn't think too much about it, but there have been some recent reports of people going missing in that area, and I didn't want him to go. He told me I shouldn't worry about it, and he promised to be back in a few days, but it's been over three days now, and he hasn't returned or even tried to contact me. So, I decided I'll head to the house and see if he is okay. By the time I got to the house, it was already late, and what's worse, it began to rain. Luckily, despite the house being abandoned for some time, it appeared that all the lights were on, suggesting Nigel must still be inside. I immediately went into the house and began to look for him. Begin. Alright, uh, we're in. Well, that's a good looking game. First things first, 180 degrees. On second thought, never mind. <laughs> Bravo! Outstanding game. 16 times the detail of Fallout 4. Wow. Uh, <laughs> it's actually so fucking funny. I've thought of so many times in a game, I'm just like, yo, what if the developer just let you turn around and none of the scary shit happen? <laughs> okay, so you click on the door, the game just ends. Strange, the door isn't locked, but it's like something won't let me through. Alright. Oh shit, the door is gone. What the hell happened to the door? Uh, got some spooky red type on the wall that says watch it. Scribbled note number four. The exit is right in front of me, and yet the door won't open. What more does she want from me? When the last thing she asked me to do was clean up her mess, I thought this was her way of suggesting that she was done playing with me, and she'll let me go. Guess she has one last thing for me. Whatever it is, I'll do it. Is this a, a film projector? It is, isn't it? Okay, so inventory is scroll. Yeah, okay, reel number three. Um, it's like one of those old Super 8 things. All right, what do you got? Help put away my toys. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's so cool. It's like I'm piloting a new character through the projector. <laughs> oh, that's pretty sick. All right. Um, what am I to do? Help put away toys. Is this a toy? It's like a candy cane flavored polygon. There it goes. That's a toy. That is for sure a toy. Huh. This is a toy. No doubt. There's another one. That is not a toy. I think that's microwave mac and cheese. <laughs> Here's one. Ooh. Spooky little handprint in the sink. That is, uh, of notice. <laughs> Can I open the fridge? No, no snacking. For an abandoned house, this place sure still does have good electricity. Who's been paying the utilities, huh? Oh, that must be all of them. Wait, was there something in the window there for a second? I think there was. 
That's kind of freaky. Can I, uh... Oh, that's trippy. I liked that. That was, um... <laughs> okay, is this how the game's gonna function? Am I gonna be retrieving a bunch of, uh, different film reels? Okay, this door's open now. And look at that! It's the exact room we just saw. Oh, that's cool. With the toys and everything, and a note. Diary page number one. Dear Daddy... Dear Diary, Daddy's got another job to work on, another film, and Mommy is also going to have to be a part in the film. So you know what that means, another couple of lonely nights with TV dinners. Like, I understand that they must work to buy those TV dinners, but it seems like they care more about the films they create rather than me. Maybe it wouldn't be so bad if we didn't have to live so far away from town. Then I would at least be able to hang out with the other kids. But instead, I am trapped in this house with just you and my dolls. Alright, we hit the checkbox of a uh, scary doll in the game. Now let me see the scary dolls. This wasn't here before. Locked. Better look for a key. Well, lucky for you, I just found one. And it's another film reel. Scribbled note number three. Am I going insane? This camera keeps helping me see what she wants me to see. But when I start filming, I feel like something's guiding me. Like I know I am performing the actions, but for some reason it feels like it's not completely me doing this. I almost want not to touch this camera, but I know that I won't be able to progress if I don't. So I'm like uh, Heather from Blair Witch Project there. Um, has anything else changed in this place? between the memory and now. I wasn't really paying that close of attention during the memory. Can I open the fridge now? No. Drawers are open. The handprint is gone. Ooh. That's a little interesting. All right, let's play this record. Real, pardon me. Roll film. Tell me a bedtime story. Oh, I'm in a completely different room now. Oh, there was a door back there that I didn't even try to open, wasn't there? <laughs> okay, um... It was probably locked, and maybe it'll be open up to this. If I, if I know anything about linear game design. Um... Hey, it looks like we found the bedroom. Put them in order. Oh, do we have like a, a sequence puzzle now? I like these. Okay, hang on. We've got Foxy the Pirate Fox coming out of a closet. Awesome. Um, Alright, I'm guessing that the rest of the panels are hidden throughout this place. Here we go. It's one in the bathtub. Any more spooky handprints and sinks? I do want to keep my eyes up for little details like that. Um... Is it supposed to be super dark out there? <laughs> it was pretty bright just a minute ago. Wait, what was that? And now the lights are back! There was something out that window! Ooh, I didn't like that. That was, um... <laughs> that was of notice. Okay, this door is locked, so I'm guessing that's probably going to be where I progress to next. How about this door? Okay, that's three out of four. Now where's the last one? That is the question. Is this it? Okay. <laughs> that was close for a second. It was honestly pretty well hidden. Alright, it's Little Red Riding Hood. Okay, this shouldn't be too bad. So, uh, she goes to visit her grandmother. And, uh, her grandmother is... Wait. Maybe this one comes first. Yeah, I think that this is the wolf sneaking into the house. Okay. And then... Comes to visit. I, okay, can you tell that I actually have never read Little Red Riding Hood, but I'm pretty sure that is not the second one. Dripping blood. No, no, this would be the second one. And then 
he attacks the old lady, or maybe that is Red Riding Hood, I forget, and then, and then he wears her cloak and pretends to be her. All right, I think that's uh, successful. The lights flickering is usually a good sign. All right, now can I return from where I came? Wide out. But hey, I think we just opened that door. That's what we're doing, right? The doors are like physically opening every time we come through one of these. Yeah. Man, these are some... Visuals are really good for a game jam, I will say. Props to you, Alex. Diary page number two. Okay, we're going backwards, I'm realizing now. Dear Diary, I recently came up with this wonderful idea. Maybe if I try creating my own movies for mom and dad, they would be interested in spending more time with me. I found a camera in my parents' bedroom, and I'm going... What was it doing there? And I'm going to record my dolls, who will be the stars in my movie. The camera seems to not record sound, though, so I'm probably going to try and perform the sound during viewing. Anyway, once I finish making it, I'm planning to survive, surprise mom with it by hiding it in her jewelry box. They will definitely love the movie. It's about a family living in a magical house, and they spend all their time playing games and such. Oh, I better get to work on it right away. All right. Um, those are some weird action figures. What are these? Is this the Outsiders action figure set? Just blue jeans and a white t-shirt? More colorful playing box on the floor. The pictures are gone, of course, but has anything else changed in this room? Guess not. Candle. Um, that noise is making me not want to open this door, but I will. This is the room that spooky shit happened in last time, to be fair. That is a pitch black mirror. Okay, that won't open. How about this room over here? Locked, better look for a key. This is the same jewelry box as last time, isn't it? And it's the same key as last time that opens it. Scribble note number two. I don't know what to say. This place goes beyond what people can view as supernatural. Whoever controls this house seems to control space and time. It feels like it's already been a day. Yet it's still pitch black and the rain doesn't look like it's dying down. Okay. Um, we got our next film reel, though. Oh, I really hope we're not about to start making our way towards the basement. I don't know what it is, but when horror games threaten me with going to the basement, I just recoil inside my skin. <laughs> Damn it, I hate the basements. Okay, well, we're definitely downstairs. Oh, no, this is totally a basement. This is a ranch-style house, damn it. I thought we were on the second floor for some reason. Uh, okay. Um, pool table. Okay, well, it's, it's not that bad of a basement. It's almost a man cave. A speakeasy, if you will. Let's play a game. All right. Are we playing pool? Come on. Oh, okay. There's um, there's some letters on the round on the walls. Pukil. Ra. I can spell the name Raquel, I think, but I don't know what that P is for. I'm gonna spell Raquel. Wait, is there not a U anywhere? Oh, there is. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay. So I don't think I was supposed to spell Raquel because everything just blacked out there. Hey, wait a second. You know, it just occurred to me that in my basement, Despite it being as decrepit as it is, we don't have a, a burial mound on a dirt, muddy floor. <laughs> um, I don't like that much. Okay, I must have to spell something. I can figure out what this is. It's 
just no different from an anagram. There's an N over here, pretty well hidden. Oh, I totally forgot I had a light on, on me. Okay, there's a B here with a circle on it. Oh, wait, is this Hangman? I think it might be. It's a, a six-letter word. And we have a U and an R in it. All right, if we're playing Hangman, then let's go ahead and hit the uh, essentials. First, why is B circled? Is the word... It can't be burger, because then we would have had a second R at the end. Burn, maybe? Is it burned? No. Now my little guy on the wall is getting some more sides. Burg. Burp. Burp, perhaps? Is it burp? It is not burp. Burk. Burrow. Burn. Burcha. Burn. Burwa. What even is that? Is that supposed to be a C? <laughs> Burge. Burt. Maybe it's Burt. I don't know. Maybe she's an avid Sesame Street viewer. Berg. Let's try it. Okay, maybe it's a letter with a circle around it again. Man, I don't know. Um, this weirdly doesn't even feel like it's Hangman. Because I'm good at Hangman, and I would have won by now. Okay, that E, that e came off the wall. I should have realized I should start with E's. Okay, are we sure it's not Burger? Alex, are you making up words right now? I, I legit don't know what this is. Burl. Bird. A D? There's a D in this word? Bear, I'm stupid. It's buried. I am unfathomably stupid. Something is buried. Oh, I did not expect that door to open. I was actually going to go down to the, uh, buried thing. I'm sorry. But our playtime... isn't over. Okay, I actually thought it was going to be is over. And then I was going to, like, die. Oh, wait, I still might die. I don't like this. Okay. <laughs> you put me in a dark, narrow hallway video game... That's the equivalent of just fighting words. Okay, we're right in the basement. And there's no wall behind me. They weren't kidding about uh, space and time being manipulated. Oh, look. Another jewelry box. Oh, and I don't have the key. The key must be with the note. But where, pray tell, is the note? Was that a... Wait, what did I just pick up? Was that a pool cue? It's a trowel. <laughs> or no, it's a shovel. Well, looks like we're doing some digging. Would this be a bad time for me to take a sip? Oh god, it's Nigel. <laughs> Poor man. He looks like he's been dead for some time, but how can that be? Who was the person recording those films? Maybe it was you. He had a letter on him, and a key. Diary page number three. Dear Diary, I hate Mom and Dad. I thought they would love me, my surprise movie, but no. Instead, Dad yelled at me for recording over some important previous film strips, and Mom was mad that I dumped her jewels in the garden so I could make room to fit in the box. Why did you have to dump the jewels in the garden? I told them I was sorry, but instead both Mom and Dad gave me a hard smack on my cheeks and sent me to my room with no dinner. They didn't bother to watch the movie I worked so hard to create. Honestly, I no longer care. I wish I could get a new Mom and Dad. Or at least someone that I can play with and not get hurt by them. Tough day to be named Nigel, I will say. Alright, let's open this up. Scribbled note number one. Hopefully writing these will keep my focus. I did what she asked me, but instead of letting me leave, she decided to lock me in the basement for who knows how long. And the next thing I know, a Super 8 camera just appeared out of nowhere. 
What does she want me to do with this thing? Is there some sort of game of hers? Don't think I don't notice you, spooky background ambient music. I don't dig it. It's high-key freaky. Okay, so that hallway we saw in the dream didn't exist. That was just a classic manipulation of time and space, as this game is known to do. Hey, look at that. This, this wasn't here before. <laughs> These lights weren't red before. Oh, shit. Oh, there's a bonus note. Hi, Bunny. Diary page number four. Dear Diary, I have some great news to share. After what happened the other day, Mom and Dad took me into town with them, since they didn't trust me being home alone at this time. I still hate them, but with them taking me into town, I was able to meet someone. This wonderful man who told me he would be more than happy to come over to my house and play with me. Pause. Pause. No, that's not allowed. You can't do that. Heck, he even said that he could get me a new mom and dad as well. Oh, no. I told him where I live. <laughs> so I am now eagerly waiting for him to arrive. Oh, we are going to have so much fun. Maybe I'll show him my movie, or maybe we can make one together. I just can't wait. Dog. Come on. Come on, dog. What's through here? Alright. Okay, this movie is noted with an X. Is this gonna be the movie that she and the uh, mysterious man made? Oh, come on. Just give me the jump scare already. I... I had fun playing with you. Wait, can I? Okay, well, I guess going backwards isn't an option. Okay, I can't read that. I need my glasses, hang on. And I did promise I'll let you leave. Bro, just hit me with it. There is just one last thing. Is that the moon? Oh, sh that's a face. I'm, I'm, uh... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I, uh... I really put myself right up in front of it, just like, uh, damn, what is it, snowing outside? <laughs> there is just one last thing. Alright, what do you need? You helped me get a new daddy, but... Oh, I would also like a new mommy. Oh my god, that was me at the end, shit. I realize that now. <laughs> <laughs> a game def okay nice work with that um <laughs> i might have scared myself more than i should have with the um with the window at the end ha <laughs> huh. it was a good plant i like the uh the whole subtly so into the game that uh you're controlling the camera as you go and since we've already established that this magical ghost camera thing breaks time and space, why why not just have it show up right behind you and just live stream your ass? <laughs> Alex, fun game. I'm always in the mood for uh, short and spooky games. And as I'm sure you've probably heard, because I just was shouting from the mountaintops of the Discord, I finally got my PC upgraded so I can actually run games that require 8 gigabytes of RAM and don't just instantly die. Uh, Cage Face, I know that that is one of your famed and acclaimed games, and I may be looking into it someday soon, but I was happy to make this one my first AO production. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I know this is a shorter one. Uh, my midterms are kind of staggered across the course of several weeks, so I'm happy to sit down and play a quick game. Alex, thanks for the game, man. Uh, everyone else, thank you for watching. If you'd like to play this game or check out more titles by Alex himself, I'll leave a link to his uh, itch.io down in the description, and I think some of his games might be on Steam, but I don't know, so you'll have to see what's in the description. Have a good day, everybody, and don't forget to vote for Holt.